Hi, I'm Wes. I'm here with Paul Hiller, the Marketing Manager for the International Council for Machinery Lubrication. Paul, I guess you've got something exciting to share with us today, right? I do. I do. Now, as you know, the ICML has been offering certification exams since 2001 mm -hmm. for the hands-on practitioners in the plants all over the world. That's right. Machinery lubrication technicians, analysts, lubrication lab analysts, and lubrication engineers most recently. And now, finally, for the first time ever, we are offering online exams. Sure, so when we think about online exam, we've now got our personal computers, That's right. and we can take the, the certification at our leisure, right? That is correct. Historically, the paper exams have been offered at the end of a three or four day training class, for mm -hmm. the most part. That's how most of them have been administered. And it was a paper exam. And now, with the opportunity to do it online, our candidates can schedule their own date and time to take it at their own, not so much their own pace, but on their own schedule when mm -hmm. they're going to be available uh, from the privacy of their home or office. Oh, that's great. Now at Noria, you know, we've been uh, driving a lot of online training content. So we mm -hmm. do live online trainings where they can log in and basically interact with an instructor. We've got on-demand online training, and this is a perfect complement to those types of trainings because now they can consume the training mm -hmm. and get certified at the end of it, right? That's right. And the way that would work is uh, they would basically get access to the uh, training plat or the uh, exam platform and look at a calendar, pick their own date and time. They're not going to be restricted by uh, the date and time oh, established travel. by a training provider. Yeah, They're absolutely. not going to have to face travel restrictions, hotel costs, being away from the plant for three days. Mm -hmm. uh, from a convenience and a flexibility standpoint, this is really a good option. For sure. Them. Now, we have trainings in about 12 different languages globally. Mm -hmm. And I know ICML has always strived to have multiple languages. Still the case? Still the case. Uh, we've converted every exam language combination we had on the paper side, we have converted and placed on the online platform as well. Oh, perfect. So we're, we've moved a lot of barriers here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've taught these classes uh, a while now, and I've, I've trained thousands of people, you know, in, in preparation for certifications and such. But I, I still get this question. I'm curious from your take as well. You know, why should I get certified? Why is certification important, especially for analysts, technicians, engineers and such? Certification offers a lot of value for the uh, practitioners from uh, the standpoint of uh, not so much testing your knowledge, but knowing that you've got the knowledge to, to do what you say you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, to establish a minimum threshold of consistent knowledge, to become aware uh, of any gaps in your knowledge that you can, can learn from others, and that consistency is good for managers to know from the one mm -hmm. standpoint, to know that everyone on the team now, uh, it, whether you're hiring new people, or replacing retiring people, and, and, and meeting out projects and, and wanting your crew to put together a lubrication program, you have the confidence that they know what they're doing and why they're doing it. Sure. And from the practitioner's standpoint, same thing. There's a big boost in confidence. Absolutely. Uh, as they as they learn, uh, oh, I didn't know that before, and oh, these sure. are the best practices. And from talking to people at conferences, I've learned that many of these practitioners, as as they earn certifications, uh, gain the confidence to talk with their managers and explain why certain things need to be done and explain how costs are going to be reduced as they achieve you know, the low hanging fruit. Uh, yeah. scenario and uh, so it's pretty exciting and we oh, see them post is. their certificates on LinkedIn Absolutely. all the time and just brag about it. It's I, I love it from <laughs> from the trainer side of things when, when the person comes through the class and you know they're they're excited and they're absorbing that knowledge and then they take their exam they get that certification it, it's a boost not only to them it's a yeah. boost to me um, oh, so that. I mean it enables good work right I mean mm -hmm. now they're they are far more confident in what they're doing and obviously they still need some experience you know it's not just training you know for knowledge sake but they also get the experience and that's one of the requirements for certification yeah most of our certifications uh, all of them actually have a, a, a work experience component it's necessary you can't just go and sit through a three-day training class and expect to pass a certification exam sure they're not that they're, they're not that just that's just not how it works sure they're not so simple uh, so it is a combination of work experience and training and education to, to get us there. Forward. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, why don't you, you walk us through? So now we're going to apply for an exam. Where do we go? What do we do? You know, what what is it? 
It's really simple. On our website, lubecouncil.org, uh, the main menu has an apply for exam option up top there, and you click on that. Prior to the online exams, it would just dump you right into the paper exam process. Now, or application process, now you have the online exam option. And when you click on that, you're going to be looking at a few of the uh, requirements that will be necessary to be able to actually do an online exam. There are some requirements in terms of both what internet connection as well as hardware, right? Yes, there are some computer specs that you're going to have to meet uh, and some environmental uh, uh, specs that you're going to have to meet as far as where you can take the exam. Um, but yeah, the hardware, you got to have a working microphone and a working webcam because this is still a live proctored exam mm -hmm. for uh, uh, for exam integrity. Sure. That was a requirement for us. We didn't want to damage the integrity of the program. Absolutely. So it's still live proctored. And uh, so you have to have that live webcam, live mic. Uh, you can't use a Chromebook or a cell phone or... Um, uh, or a tablet, you've got to use a desktop computer or a laptop. And we want a stable internet connection. Definitely need a stable internet connection. Internet speed is an option, I mean, uh, is a, a, requirement. A, a requirement. And you can't do this in a coffee shop. You have to be in a private space with no distractions, no other people. Clear and desk. And a clear like desk, that is, that's important. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, the proctor won't let you take the exam if you don't meet these uh, requirements. All right, so just to, to clear one thing up as well, so you do have online exams, but that doesn't mean you've stopped doing paper exams, right? That's correct. Uh, uh, paper exams are always gonna be around and available. Because okay. there's always going to be people that prefer that, and sometimes if you can't meet these online exam specs, paper's the way to go. Awesome. Yep. Well, Paul, I appreciate you coming by. I appreciate you spending the time with us. And if you have any other questions or would like more information, just follow the link below.